Hi, this is Paul from Embroidery Source. And what I'm going to show you now is how we use Corel Draw to uh, import an, an image that we need to print on the Roland BN20 and create a cutting line around it. Now let me start by saying Corel provides a multitude of different tools that you can use to produce cutting lines. There are tools to create rectangles, which you can see here, um, circles and ellipses, um, polygons, stars, complex shapes, um, lettering, straight lines, um, as I say, a whole host of tools that you can use. So if you simply want a rectangle, it's as easy as clicking on the rectangle tool, dragging the size of the rectangle that you want to cut. Now, we don't want a fill shape, so currently there's no fill in this rectangle, uh, but the, the outline of the rectangle is currently black. Now, if we want our Roland cutter to cut that line, we need to change that color to a special color called Cut Contour. Now, you'll see on the right-hand side of the screen, I have two menus open at the moment. This is the Roland VersaWorks um, color bar for uh, Metamark Vinyl. Um, and the color at the top is called Cut Contour. Now, that's the important thing. The Cut Contour contour name is what the uh, Roland cutter recognizes um, as being a line that has to be cut and not printed. So to change that line to this color all I have to do is right click the mouse on top of that color and now you see my rectangle on the screen has changed to that cut contour color. So then if I save that file um, as an EPS format file um, the, and then open it up in Roland VersaWorks. VersaWorks will recognize that as a cutting line and not a line that has to be printed. So if I was to left click on the color bar, then my rectangle will be filled with the color that, that I left click on. So if I left click on this yellow color, um, now that color will be printed by the Roland BN20 and then it will see the cut contour color line around the outside. So after it has finished printing the yellow, it will reverse back and it will cut around the yellow square following that cut contour line. So of course you can do the same thing with text. I can simply click on the text tool, type on the screen, um, cutting, uh, and I can change the size of that text. I can make it bold by clicking on the bold I can change it to uh, a yellow color or an orange color and I can give it right click on the cut contour color to give it my cutting outline. If you just want to cut without color, take away the color by left clicking in the cross at the top of the color bar. Left clicking the cross will take away the colored fill and right clicking on the cross will take away the colored cut line. So at the moment, if I, expo if I send that up to the Roland BN20, it will simply cut the vinyl, but nothing will be printed. Put the fill back, and then to send it or to save the file for the Roland, I simply go to the File menu, and I select Export, and I choose as the Save As Type, I'm going to choose uh, the Save As Type, I'm going to change that from PNG, I'm going to change that to a format called EPS, which is Encapsulated Postscript. Now you may have to scroll down the list until you find EPS. You can see it here again. Um, so EPS is what we want. We give our file a name. I'm going to call it Test. Um, oh, I accidentally changed my format. I'm going to call the file Test. And save it to the desktop of my computer. When I click export, this next bit is important. Um, do not click this box. This box convert spot colors to RGB. Leave that unticked and make sure the resolution is 300 dpi and click OK. And it's done. The file just appeared on the desktop of my computer and I can now open that up in VersaWorks and, uh, and I can print and cut that file. Now, what's more common is to import an image and create a cutting line around it. So I'm going to delete this lettering. I'm going to go to the file menu and select import. And on my desktop, I have a little image of a penguin. 
not a very good quality image by the way so I'm going to import that and if I zoom in on it by clicking the magnifying glass you'll see that it's quite fuzzy but uh, for, for the, this example that that uh, image is currently 19 millimeters wide and 18 centimeters high let's say we want to make it bigger uh, now I want to create an outline around it now of course I could do that by using the drawing tools and I could select one of these drawing tools freehand or bezier or artistic media or pen spline and I could manually click a line around the outside of the penguin but there is a quicker way I can very quickly convert that image to contours by right clicking go to quick trace Corel will almost instantly create a vectorized version of that on top and I can left click and drag it to one side so you can see what I'm talking about now what it's done is uh, it has created a white background because you can't see that most bitmap images have a white square rectangle behind them so when I vectorized this image a white square rectangle was also created um, around the penguin so I have to select that and I go to the arrange menu and select ungroup and now I can click on the white area and delete it okay and now the easy way to get an outline is to select all of those objects go to the arrange menu select shaping and boundary and Corel instantly draws an outline around my penguin now just bearing in mind that the bottom part of this outline doesn't exactly fit this shaded area because the the automatic vectorizing tools it's very difficult for it to determine where the edge of a shaded area is so you may need to do a little bit of editing of the outline don't forget before you can cut that we, we can get rid of this shape now we don't need it select it and delete I can move my outline back over the penguin and I can position it and I can change its color to cut contour I'll zoom in show you my shape and of course if I need to edit the outline if I need to move it a little bit up or down if I need to change the the uh, bottom areas of this outline to make it more smooth uh, then I can do that I can go into the reshape and I can select select points and I can delete them um, so I can smooth my uh, my edges so uh, you pretty much do what you need to do to get the outline correct and then when you're ready same as before we go to the file menu and we export as an EPS file we'll call it penguin whoops I've used capital it's there doesn't matter um, and we select export and don't tick the convert spot to colors leave it as 300 dpi and click OK and your image will be exported with the cutting line around it and you can open those up in VersaWorks and then get VersaWorks to repeat um, that cutting as many times as you want. Okay, thanks for your time. See you in the next video.